Welcome back to another module of Tai Chi 5 Minutes a Day. There have been a lot of requests that I share with you a few tips on warm-up. So that's what we're going to do today. And I would like to say that if there's any part of this warm-up that doesn't resonate with you, then don't do it. Use what you find is useful and discard what isn't. This is a little bit my warm-up that I've accumulated through the years. And to be honest, I haven't even prepared anything. I've decided to just come out here and do the warm-up as I usually do it. So what I do first is I hip with the part and I do hip rolls. <laughs> and I do hip rolls because I don't really know what I'm about to do. So this gives me an opportunity to think about it. And you can choose your favorite number. Some days it's four, sometimes it's six, sometimes eight, nine. What's your number? What resonates with you? And then just go around that many times. Right now, since I'm talking to you, I really don't know how many times I did. So I'm gonna stop and go the other way. And if you do this video enough times, you'll know when to stop and go the other way so that you can make the two sides even. Okay, so first we start with the hip rolls. Then I like to get my hips loose by doing one leg at a time. And once again, four, six, eight, nine, other way. I usually do between six and eight. Okay, and I like to go both ways. And then I do the other side. And the other way. Then I do knee bends. I like to loosen up the knees gently, just going forward and back. After that, I'll do some rolls. Slowly going around and loosening up the kneecaps. And then I go the other way. And anybody who might have trouble with the knees, then you have to decide if this is okay for you. You can also check with your physiotherapist, okay? And another one that I like to do, and maybe not all of you can do this, and maybe you can work up to it or just go halfway, but I like to go come up and then just kind of massage my kneecaps just to make sure that they're in place. Sometimes my knees will crack as I go down and then I just kind of put them all back where they're supposed to be with lots of love. Okay, and then I finish off that section by just kind of bending my knees a little, and then maybe shaking them out. So the next one, this is from my Shifu in Panama. And you bend the knees and come up. And then bend, arms up. So now we're also engaging the arms, getting the shoulders going. You gotta get a breathing rhythm going. Breathe in for that one and then breathe out for this one. That could work. Breathe in and out. Right, that could work. And out, okay. So let's get um, the hands going. This one I got from Louis one day in China when we were in the gym upstairs on the fourth floor. He had to warm us up because it was a rainy day. This is one of the things we did. And another one I like is when Shifu came one night. It was raining and we were in like the first gym. It was really kind of dirty and not very pleasant. Really old, like, anyways. <laughs> Bring your forearms together and come up. 
And he walked in and he said, okay, I'm gonna lead the warm up. Well, then you pay attention. And he did this. That was when he taught us the silk wheel. We're not gonna do that right now, but this would be like the warm up for the silk wheel. Let's go the other way. I only did four, I think. Good. Take your hands, tilt the head, push the hand down, and really stretch out that muscle in your neck, the trapezius. And then the other side. Let's do it again. We're just going to do two on this one. I could do more, but you know, you don't want your warm up to turn into your whole training session. It's supposed to only be five minutes, and I have a feeling we've done more than that. I get in trouble for that, you know, when I say five minutes a day and then I do seven, ten. Okay, look to the side, go around in a circle, and then look to the other side. And down, around, and to the other side. Good. Again, warm up the neck. Yeah. And you can do this as many times as you want. Don't close your eyes when you go up just in case so you don't get dizzy. Let's do three on each side. Just for timing, really. And stop. Now let's do the shoulders. I like to keep the knees a little bent for that. And now the other way. Okay, hands up. I want you to get your arms back as far as you can, like where your ears are, and then lean. I want you to hold in your stomach. This, this doubles as a stretch, and also a, uh, it's also abdominal strengthening. Strengthening. Yeah, hold in your, your stomach, and that'll help you come up, and it won't hurt your back. I'm going to try to do six here. On the side. <laughs> Did something just jump behind me? <laughs> okay. And the last one that's really, really important, okay, is, hey there, don't be distracted. <laughs> Grab your toes, okay, because this really stretches behind your knee. And that's so important, stretching behind your knee to keep your posture real straight. Other side. Keep your back as straight as possible. Don't make it round. Really feel the stretch behind the knee, behind the foot, the shin, all there. Okay? And you can do that one for as long or as short as you like. Let's sink the, sink the chi just to close it up so we can start practicing Tai Chi. <laughs> 